Hello everyone, I am here at Affordable Robotics and Automation and this manufacturing company has been listed on Bombay Stock Exchange. And to know more about the public listing of this SME, I am going in conversation with Mr. Milan Padol, who is the founder and managing director of the company. Sir, we would like to know about the business of the company. Like what does actually your company do? Thanks, thanks for having me here on this show. We are basically into robotics, uh, fixed robotics. So we started this company in 2005. We make various kind of uh, fixed robotics which are used in automotive industry. Then we started another vertical in 2012 which was related to real estate, automated parking. And recently we started a subsidiary of this parent company in a few years back which is into mobile robotics. So all along we were doing fixed robotics. Now we are diversifying into mobile robotics also. Sir, you know, as you just mentioned that the company's establishment was back in 2005 and as you have seen, the company has been a private limited until 2018 and like from 2018 it went public. Being in private and being a uh, public limited company, what was the main journey? So 2005 we started as a proprietary, right? So before private it was proprietary. Uh, 2010, um, it became private limited. 2018, we got public listed. We have seen all the seasons probably, you know, of how the industry grows. All along, we were bootstrapped. Probably, we got funding from debt funding from bank. And uh, finally, in 2018, we got, you know, public funding, which definitely accelerated our growth. And uh, the journey throughout was very good. It was a fulfilling uh, journey, I must say. So for the past two, three years, you know, your stock has been rocketing. So how's your feeling about that? It uh, feels very good. It gives immense pressure on us to deliver even much more. People are expecting from us. We have to deliver uh, on those notes, right? Secondly, once we got listed, we got access to funds that accelerated our growth. Uh, we have huge plans now in coming year 2024, wherein we are, our focus is in US and uh, Canada market. The subsidiary is going to grow at a very faster pace. The parent is going to grow at 40 to 50% CAGR, which we have been doing for the last two years. So that is how it is. We hope our share keeps on growing at this pace. Yes, sure. <laughs> Obviously, and so you know, your company is associated with many OEMs. So how is your experience working with them? All these Volvo and Mahindra and all these big companies. As the customer, so uh, we have multiple things. Like uh, one side we have good customers, one side we have good investors like Vijay Kedia Ji, who have shown faith throughout, right from the beginning. We started our journey in uh, Public Limited. Similarly, so all these are important pillars, right? So good customers, good investors. A uh, good team, so my team is equally good, you know, who are delivering all this. So these are the three important pillars uh, and it gives a very good pleasure to have all them in your life. In this India market scenario, you have been like, your company has been there for quite a bit time now. You established back in 2005, but do you really think that Indian customers, they value the amount of efforts that goes into innovation of these automated uh, machineries which you are making? Whether be, you know, your, your company specializes in parking automation and robotics automation and everything, or do they, you know, go with cutthroat negotiations and everything else. Yeah, negotiation happens, right? Yeah. So on one side, if you see we are competing with German companies or, you know, Italian companies or Chinese now. So they have deep pockets. They have big design legacy. Like they have been established for the last 50 years. We might be established for the last 15 years, 17 years, right? So we can't compete with their design legacies. Uh, of course, our designs have matured a lot all these years, but then Definitely, you know, Indian companies have given us chance, so we are here, right? So, and the only way to get a chance in a competitive market is the price. So, we have to be very, very competitive, which we are. And uh, negotiations will always be there everywhere in the world. Sir, and uh, with all these negotiations and everything, in the Indian scenario, when the government, you know, comes out with initiatives like Make an in India initiative and everything, so do you really think it has ever helped your company? Yes, so we have started witnessing a lot of uh, traction due to Make in India, especially from the government sector the, where, you know, there were imports and now there is completely zero imports or imports is getting banned. So we are seeing a lot of traction, especially from government sectors and public sectors. So there's a lot of traction uh, we are witnessing now. Sure, sir. And sir, for the final question, sir, any future plans of your company which you really want to share with our audience and the shareholders of the company? So we have a future roadmap, uh, which we have, uh, you know, uh, shown to our investors. It's in public domain and uh, definitely we wish five years 
uh, we want to list in nasdaq so that's what is our dream by 2028 29 and uh, that's what we are on the journey for thank you so much sir it was wonderful talking to you today thank thanks you, thanks a lot